Hey, how's it going guys? This is your boy Haste, and today we're going to be doing a BG with our buddy Morgan. Basically, this guy came from EU to train with me, learned some stuff, uh, got a bunch of lessons, basically got some rating, went back to EU and earned some rating, and uh, yeah, basically decided to pull him to a BG and talk to him about what he's done. He's also the guy that helps uh, do the edits for our display pictures on the channel, so that's really cool. So I managed to create quite a few cool friendships uh, doing YouTube, but anyways guys, Basically, we're going to talk to him about this. I'll go ahead and show you his uh, armory page right now, exactly what rating he pushed up to. Um, yeah, let's check this out. After playing on US, he decided to go back to EU and start playing with some of his old friends again, where they managed to hook up with a cool Holy Pally, and they managed, uh, I believe they're playing Walking Dead, and pushed up, as you can see, with the achievements from 1500 to 2200 after his transfer back to EU. That's what's up, man. Good job. That's solid. going into Temple of Kat Mogu. Today I got one of the people, one of the DKs that I usually actually train, give him a hand, and basically he managed to go from uh, 1500 to above 2k in uh, basically no time at all. There. <laughs> so uh, what up man? What up? How you doing dude? I'm good thanks. Um, having a good time really. Having a good time where you get kills and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Getting killed, You're getting um, kills. You know, I'm about um, to get killed. Just been practicing really. Um, so it's been good really. Um, <laughs> yeah. Died as well because I can't multitask as well. <laughs> Such a new play for me. Um, but overall, like I came to uh, US to like get some training because I was like a really bad new player and I didn't know how to play my class like in more in depth. And hey, how to play, um, taught me how to play in my class uh, more in depth and have a better understanding and different techniques and styles of play. And I went back to EU where I had uh, some arena friends that I just like practice with, um, with me, and I just like. I'm trying to talk at the same time. No worries. Um, it's not as easy as it looks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like talking at the same time. I'm trying to like, concentrate. Um, but I went back to EU and just had um, a paladin, holy paladin, and a monk. And we just practiced together and talked what we we're going to do and trying to set up the play. And the time that we played was Walking Dead, which was really, really simple to play. Uh, so uh, we just like use learn different techniques and try and uh, know what to do, what prompts to go against, and what like plans should we do uh, when we go and face those prompts. So if it was like walking dead, we have to try and um, counter that with our own style and techniques and try and um, play it off really and see what happens in the situations and also the position we are standing really oh definitely is, uh, position, the position is like the key area really so and what what uh, what it, what rating did you guys get to um uh, at the start um it was like 1.6k yeah uh, like when we first started um it was like month the month and me like my friend and me and we just like did TV2s to just like practice the walking dead and it was really hard because we have to try and do self healing and fear control and yeah. that thing because we didn't have like healing so basically like we were thinking about like survivability and um oh, yeah. of course the other players couldn't do and everything else and then when we um met this kind of paladin we just like did really well and he knew what he was um, doing and know what we're doing and we just need to, to know uh, what we do really. Oh yeah. Uh, and when we're going to burst and everything else and it's just knowing um, how your friend is going to play because um, if you've got like really keen people and really keen uh, um, friends that are willing to go on team speak or whatever, um, really. Um, you'll do a lot better really um in communication and 
type of thing with it. Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, you got to have uh, voice communication. You got to have verbal warnings. You got to have CD calling. You got to have all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah. So, so okay, so you were explaining that uh, you had to take an EU tune from the U.S. and then transfer yeah. back, and then you went back and played on your uh, EU account. Now, in your opinion, is it harder on U.S. or EU? Um, like, either really, because, like, people... Oh, yeah, good people on either side. Yeah, 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 um, it's just, like, depends really, like, how people are. Um, also, it's just, like, in EU, there's, like, trying to find a lobby and a people with, like, like speak English because it's like Russian and all that kind of stuff, really. Okay. Uh, it's gonna, and it's hard because like, you have to wait for, um, like, to find a lobby with like your set of skills and the people that you play with and people that, if they're coping with the amount of frustration, if they're like, all right, losing and want to become a team and like willing to play a lot all right um, and you can just like push rating and know the comp really well just like play that one comp and just learn how to um like try and like counter their comp really um techniques pretty much and like yeah and also the the key key um play style is i like, keep trying to change the talents and change like the glyphs as well so yeah um for like the certain arenas um pretty much so which is like really important as well because if i uh like walking dead it's like strangle gate which is like really important because it's like stun up stun and it's like you know hopeless like having that oh yeah thing over and over again really Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Whew. This is getting hot in the middle. We're gonna have to turn up the yeah. heat. Uh, come on, come on. I got the healer, got the healer, got the healer in mid. Healer's dead. They're just focusing my balls off. I even got karma on me from that monk. Yeah, yeah, Hundred K still hitting hundred Ks though, still popping off since that nerf yesterday. Yeah. So tell me, what, what what do you think about the nerf? What did you? Um, the nerf. Um, <laughs> it didn't really much affect it. It's just like kind of sad that um, you have to like, reduce the damage of it really. Uh, but yeah. like having that uh, buff really was like really nice for DKs, but um without it like you can still do a lot of damage like right? we got the 10 percent increase howling glass and oh yeah else, which, oh yeah we still um, had the other buffs overall, it's just like yeah you know, got the healer and the definitely and and, and to think you actually got the uh you actually got 2200 after the nerf technically well i was just looking yeah. at the timing on it you yeah, still got 2200 after it like i was just gonna push like this um like um just you know, my friends were online were like okay let's do training yeah um, so like we kind of got lucky with the comps we got against with really but like some weren't it's like a ball of three that was still really hard as well like a ball of three yeah because um it's like still a really annoying comp to play against with oh um, definitely um, it's just like melts, like everything, like the healer, and, oh my god, like the stress and everything else. Oh, I can definitely um, see it like that, man. Yeah, so it's like sometimes we got like a um, with um, Turbo Cleave, and it's just like, oh my god, um, sometimes we lost a lot. Uh, from like a, when we were like against the SD, um, that was easy, uh, yeah. the Ebola, it was like frustrating because it was like still the top, uh, um, play, really. I could definitely see that. You, were you running yeah. into a lot of it on EU? Uh, yeah, like it's still like, 
Oh, definitely. Definitely. I've even pondered playing it myself a few times. <laughs> okay. Meow, kitty cleave. Alright, we're actually taking over mid, like solidly. Everyone finally yeah. grouped up. I'm gonna see if I can pull that DK. I don't got grip for that DK. He knew. He knew. He knew that was what I was gonna do. All right, they're coming into mid. We're gonna have to wipe them. Yeah, that's for sure. He's done. He's done. Right, I'm no, he's not. I got this. It's mine. Let's get this healer mug. He's got a boomy with him. I got interrupt on him already. He already yeah. popped cocoon, so like next time you stun him, he's dead. So that's pretty solid, man. Good job, dude. That's what I like to hear. That, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you set goals, uh, man, and then you went out and did it. Yeah, yeah. It's just like the patience and the effort. It does take a long time. Really. Yeah. And just like the skills and the techniques, really. Oh, yeah. You just got to focus on it. Hunker down on it and go for it. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was kind of like you did it in steps. You went and uh, you, you learned the rotation and DK stuff, uh, like yeah, the basics, yeah, the and then and then else. yeah, yeah, and then you went to uh, the other guy, and then they taught you uh, threes comps, what to focus, when to switch, and things like that. And it kind of just put all yeah. the puzzles into place, and you were uh, twenty two hundred all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, it's just like. Luck and I just like I was like woke up early and I like just pushed all day and it was like no breaks. It was just like pain in the neck. Oh, dude, that's yeah. what you gotta do. Like your back will start getting stressed out, your body heat will raise. It'll be a pain in the uh, ass. Yeah, like I brought some water. Like we had like quick toilet breaks as well. Like you have to go. <laughs> it's like <laughs> if you need to go, if you need to go. It's like <laughs> that's like. Like, yeah, to, we ain't stop uh, until we hit 2020. Did we win? We end up winning that one, dude. Good yeah, BG. Yeah. That's what's up. Anyways, man, no, good job again. Yeah, That's what's up. You, you get that 8.7. It's no worries, dude. It's no worries. Like our damage was pretty up there this time. But anyways, we managed to pull out. Anyways, till next time, guys. This is your yeah. boy Hayes. Yeah.